Okay, I got it. Boy, that mic is real sensitive, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, they, you need to snap your finger and you can hear it. <laughs> okay, so um, we're here with Bean Sogioka. Mm -hmm. And um, I know we had an interview before with Mr. Leong, and this time I'm here by myself. And later on, we'll get to look at some of your photos, right? Um, but can we first start by kind of briefly talking about your childhood? Where did you grow up? Uh, Baldwin Park in 1919. Baldwin Park in 1919. And what was that like? Well, those days, the Issei's, you know what the Issei is, the mm -hmm. first year in the room, they were the boss. They were the boss? Yeah, none of them had college education. None of them? <clears throat> none of them. So They were all farmers. So your parents were farmers? Yeah. I would say 99%, but there were some uh, doctors and lawyers. Oh, there was? Oh, yeah. Did you know any of them? No, I didn't know it. I heard of them. Oh. And so, um, what were your parents' full name? My dad's name was Sekimatsu. Sekimatsu. Could you please spell that? S well, just say it. Is it S? Sekimatsu. Sekimatsu. Se S E. Uh huh. S E. K I. K I. M. Matsu. M A. Yeah. T S U. Yeah. It's real easy. Italians are real easy to <laughs> all vowels. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, it sounds a little intimidating. <laughs> no, it's easy. Italian and Japanese name are the easiest one. It's the French that's lousy. Oh, is it? Yeah, they say commencement exercise. Actually, it's commencement. Oh. Sounds a little difficult. Yeah, they say commencement. It's not commencement, <laughs> it's commencement in, oh. Spanish, in, in French. How did you know all this? Then uh, merci beaucoup. Do you ever see how they spell that? <laughs> no. Or hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> That's all French. <laughs> I never, I don't even know how to spell it. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what was your mother's name? Shia, S-H-I-Y-E. And they were both farmers in Baldwin Park? Yes. Did you know when they came to America? Right after, I'd say 1910. 1910? Yeah, I'm guessing. Oh. And do you know why they came to America? For land of opportunity. Land of opportunity? Because there was nothing in Japan. Oh. And Japan's a small island, you know. Uh-huh. But, so was your father but he wasn't an only child, right? No, there was uh, three of them. Was he the youngest? No, he was second. The, the oldest always stays. Because they got land, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what his name was. And my dad was the second. And the Satakichi was the third. So second and third came to America, but the oldest one stayed in Japan. Oh, so and he inherits all the house, property, oh. bank, everything. Did, did your, did his two, did he come with his younger brother? Did your father? No, no, they came separately. Oh, they came separately? But then, no Issei came separate all by themselves because they didn't know the language. They came in huge groups of 50. Oh, really? Yeah, and then there's one that was a, a straw boss that was bilingual. Oh. That's the only way. Yeah. A what? Can't. A straw boss? Yeah, a straw boss means a... Uh, Interpreter. Or oh. You gotta have a, somebody in charge. Oh, that's what it was called, straw box? Yeah, straw box. <laughs> how, did, how, did, how did that name come about? I don't know. <laughs> they have all kinds of nicknames. So, were they sponsored or was he sponsored or did he No, just... no, you're on your own. Oh, so he came through a boat? Oh, yeah, the only way. <laughs> the only way. And all those boats, it was Asama Maru and Tayo Maru. Those were the names of the boats? Yeah. Well, how did you know that? Well, I know that. <laughs> uh, and then during the war, they got sunk by American submarines. Oh, uh, those same boats? So oh, yeah, they all got sunk. Oh. So they didn't have a chance. I see. How, so did, do you know if your father came with like a good amount of money or? No, they came, all well, came with about 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Yeah. Where did, where did he end up, what port did he end up coming through? 
Well, they all left Yokohama, but they first landed in uh, uh, Maui. Maui? In Hawaii? Land, yeah, M A Ma M A U Ma U E I. Spell how they got it. M A U I. But I don't think it's like that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Maui. Maui. I'll look it up later. Yeah, it's in there. So they came through Hawaii first? Yeah. So did your father live in Hawaii for a good number of years? No, no, no. I think just about one year. One year? Then they all went back. Then they saved their money. Uh huh. And then they went back and they got what you call picture bride. Oh, so well, when your father was in Hawaii, what did he do? Sugar cane. They all worked in the sugar cane. Oh, and then he went back to Japan and got a picture book? Yeah, well, that's about sugar cane. They don't have sugar cane in Japan, so everybody chewed on sugar cane and they all got cavity. Oh, really? They all, yeah, they all lost their teeth. Your father as well? Everybody. Oh, did your father tell you that? Yeah. So he lost a lot of his teeth when he was yeah, in Hawaii? All these, they lost their teeth because <laughs> that sugar cane was so... Uh, Sweet. It was just, they haven't, it was out of this world. <laughs> they thought they were eating candy. Did you I, like sugar cane? No, it's too sweet. Oh. Oh, it's sweeter than honey. If you taste honey, oh, it's, it's too sweet. You can't eat it. <laughs> you don't like eating honey? No, I got some, but it's still there. Oh, I see. So your father went back to Japan and yeah. he got a picture bride. Yeah. And that's your mom. She it? Uh, no, he didn't get a picture bride. Oh, he, he didn't? They have matchmaker. Oh, so like an arranged marriage? Yeah, arranged marriage. That, they all did that. Oh, so who, who set your father up with your mom? Some relative. Some, some relative? Always a relative. <laughs> you don't know which relative? Yeah, you don't know. Oh. Mm -hmm. So actually, you buy your wife, you know. You have to pay money. Oh, how much money did he pay? By that time was... Uh... Hey, Lucy. Lucy, she's hard to hear. I think it was five hundred dollars. Five hundred? Yeah. <laughs> when you the picture bride, they used to give uh, yorokobi, but it was five hundred dollar, wasn't it? About your dad was a baishakuni. Years ago. Yeah, five hundred. If you're rich, it was about. Had to give to the Bride side money. Yeah, five hundred bucks. Have to be 500. I think it's about five hundred. No, but three five hundred. Yeah, three five. If you're rich, it's about five hundred. But mm -hmm. if you're poor, hundred to do. Oh. In India, they give cows. Oh really? Yeah. So if you get divorced, you go back and get your cow back. <laughs> <laughs> if you get divorced, you get the cow back. Yeah, in oh. India. Well, what if they already like ate the cow or something? What if what? What if they already ate the cow? No, they don't kill cows. Oh wait, in no, India. no, no. What if they already like? Oh, okay, never mind. No. Okay. Yeah, if a cow is walking down the sidewalk, everybody gets out of the way. Oh. Oh, that cow. Because they're really religious, right? Oh yeah, and cow, they got the right of way. Okay. Well, you haven't been reading up to date. You don't know what the rules are now. Well. You think about seventy years ago. <laughs> I think cows are still held as really religious. I think though. so. Yeah. They've got Hilton in every country in the world. Hilton Hotel. Yeah, yeah. So, so he went back to Japan, and then when did he come back here? I think he went back just for a while, and then he came back again. And this time he came back with your with your mom. Yeah, I don't know when that was. I say 1910. Roughly. 1910? Mm -hmm. So he came back to America and then he lived in Baldwin Park. Baldwin Park. So he didn't go back to Hawaii this time? No. So he went straight to Baldwin Park and... Baldwin Park was just a desert with cactus, sagebrush, <laughs> jackrabbit, rattlesnake. And the Japanese farmers made that level, so that's what it is today. Oh. And so when he came here, he didn't know anybody, did he? No. Well, they came in groups, so they knew themselves. Oh. Uh, I see. And how long... Are, you're not the only child, right? No. There were two brothers and two sisters. And 
how does the order go? Are you the youngest or? No, my oldest sister was Kazoo, Kazue. Then the second, second was my brother, his name was Yoshimaru. Uh -huh. Then I was the third, my name was Mitsuyoshi. Everybody had long name. <laughs> And my younger name was Fumie. But she didn't have any nickname. So it was your older sister, your your older brother, you, and then another younger sister? Younger sister, yeah. She lives it? in Boyle Heights. And so if your parents came in 1910, when did they first have their first? When did they what? When did they have their first child? When was your, your older sister born? I wouldn't know. You don't know? You're about three years apart, huh? Yeah, well, all of us are three years apart. You can oh, really? That. Yeah, you can figure it out that way. My brothers and sister, my brother and sister and I are three years apart as well. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So what did they do? Why they're here? They work on the farm. Or? Yeah, everybody worked on the farm. The women worked harder than the men. The women worked harder than the men. Uh, yeah. How they, so? The, the men all drank sake. You know what sake is? Mm -hmm. Liquor. That's all they did. Drank sake. While they were farming. Yeah, they weren't drunk, but that's a natural uh, liquid. Like Frenchmen drink wine. They serve wine to kids. Oh, really? Yeah. German, they some some beer. Wait, so did the did the younger guys drink sake too? If they fed it to them. Did you drink sake? No, I hate the smell of it. Oh really? No, my brother he hated the smell of it. And my dad used to smoke, and I hated the smell of nicotine, so I never did smoke. Neither oh. did my brother. Oh. That's why we're living so long. Oh, I see. The so, alcohol is the worst thing. And then women didn't drink? Yeah, some drank. Some drank, but they definitely worked harder? No, no, no. They drank because their husband drank. That's the way it was. Oh. But they didn't get drunk. Did your, did your mother drink? Yeah, she drank. While working on the farm? No, not while working. Oh. No, not one. And supper time. Oh, I see. And do you know if your parents ever went to school? Yeah, they went to second grade. Oh, they did? Mm hmm In America? No, in Japan. Oh, so once they... Fourth grade. No, I think my dad went to second grade. Uh, By the way, there's... Okay, well, your mother and father went up to the fourth grade. My parents went up to the eighth grade. Well, did? I and thought it was second grade. The educational level is higher. So oh. Eighth grade is like high school. Oh. Yeah, those Japanese are good in math. <laughs> yeah, they are. Are they? Yeah. You know what a soroban is? No, what is it? You know what an abacus is? Oh, those um, things Be, yeah. and you calculate? Yeah, uh -huh. they call that soroban. Oh, soroban. Boy, if you're good in that, that's better than the calculator. Is it? Yeah. That was like, kind of difficult. And then one time they had a, a race. The best soroban expert in Japan, and the best uh, calculator in then Japan won because America, you have to have total. Oh, it's uh -huh. electric, you know. Uh-huh. You have to, so when they hit total, that's one second. Um, so the bond, you had the answer. Oh. So they, uh, they won. When was this? This was after World War II. That'd be 1945. It'd be about 1950, somewhere mm -hmm. around there. Wow, you have really good memory. Yeah, but I can't <laughs> remember what April took. <laughs> <No, laughs> so when they came here, they didn't get any education. Mm -mm. And what about you? I went to high school, and then that's it. I didn't go beyond that. Oh, but you went to grammar school as well? Oh, yeah, I went to grammar school. In Baldwin Park? Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about school? What school did you go to? Margaret Heath Grammar School. Mm hmm And they got the name Margaret Heath because the principal was a... Uh, she never got married. What do they call it? A spinster? Spinster? Is that what they call it? Yeah, if they're not married. They call them spinsters, don't they? Yeah, they used to. 
Oh, you don't well, know those names. Teachers in those days, they didn't get married. married. They were yeah, school married. teachers those days, they were all myths. Oh. And they're dedicated to be a school teacher. Oh, I so, know by that. choice, they never had babies. And they never got married? No. And that was really common? Oh, yeah. That was, uh, what did you say they were called? Spinsters? Spinsters. Spinsters? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know that. Thanks for teaching me something. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was grammar school like? Well, there were no prejudices. There wasn't? <clears throat> but there were prejudices against Mexicans. Oh, really? Yeah. Were you prejudiced against Mexicans as well? No, because I grew up with them. Oh. So I learned Spanish. Oh, you did? With those Mexicans. How? So just by associating, playing marbles and playing hopscotch and playing jump rope. and. So you had a lot of Mexican friends? Oh, yeah. Everybody did. Oh, really? Yeah. There were no prejudice those days. Oh. So you would play hopscotch a lot? No, that's girls' games. <laughs> those are girls' games? Yeah. So what would we you play, play marbles? Marbles. Marbles? Yeah. <laughs> Do you still have your marbles? All my marbles are up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. I know, you're, you're such a jokester. <laughs> Did, um, so what else would you do for fun? Oh, my sport was judo. Judo? Yeah. You were already in judo in grammar school? Eighth grade. Oh. That's because my brother did judo first. Oh. Your brother Yoshi Maro? Yeah. And he actually became the first Sandang, which is third degree. Oh. But then he wasn't the only one. There was about six others that got Sandang at the same time. Oh. So your brother was pretty good. Oh, yeah. He, he was a lefty. Oh, was he? Yeah, so when you throw left, there's no defense. Oh. You can't get out of the left-hand grip. Did you used to practice together a lot? Yeah. Were you guys really close? Yeah, fairly close. We farmed together. Tell me, tell me more about farming. What did you guys grow? General vegetable. You know where the bunch of vegetables is? The ones like onions. That you, yeah, that, the ones that you, that you can tie, tie like you bunch. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bunch vegetable. Oh. They used to call it. How you used to call it truck gardening? Truck gardening. Yeah. Oh, so you did truck gardening. Mm -hmm. So for the people who don't know what bunch vegetables are, it's things like kind of onions and Anything carrots, that you bunch. Anything that you can bunch together. Yeah, green onion. Oh, so you did all of that? Oh well, yeah, I did all that. So who would be working on the farm? Your own family. So you, your brother, your older sister. sister. Yeah. Was your well, after the war, all these days were 55 years or older. In that time, 55 years, they were like being 85 today. Really? Yeah. How so? Well, times change. Better food, better climate, better doctor, better medicine, so they live oh. longer. Oh. And so at 55, after the war, did they retire? Yeah, most of them retired. Oh, I see. But they didn't have any money, though. Oh, so what would they do? They depended on their oldest son. So in your case, your brother? Yeah. And what did your brother do? He was a farmer. So he farmed, he took over the farm? Yeah. I see. And did you help him? Oh yeah, everybody had to pitch in. Everybody had to pitch in? Mm -hmm. So. But what? gradually everything went mechanized. So when you planted that a cow farm planter, you plant oh. onion, has an onion planter, it's all mechanized, all hooked on the Ford tractor. So where, where did you guys get the money to buy these like mechanisms? Well, we saved what we, we oh. saved, you know. It didn't oh. cost us nothing to eat because we raised it. Oh. That's the way it was. I see. And I never went to Santa Anita and never went to Las Vegas. You never went to Santa Anita and you never went to Las Vegas? You know what Santa Anita is? The racetrack? Yeah. Oh. You can't win there. You can't? Fast women and slow horses. <laughs> <laughs> All the women hang out there. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They're looking for a husband. Oh. A lot of Japanese women? No, no. The smart ones stayed away. Oh. The dumb ones went there. Oh. 
But you get 40,000 people yelling, you know, and the guys farming, then like, ah, there was some excitement. <laughs> they drop everything, go over the net, they start betting themselves. Oh. Everyone went broke. Really? Yeah. When well, they didn't go broke, but they lost money. When was this? 1950, I would say. Oh. War ended in 45, you know. Uh -huh. So about 10 years difference, and actually about 1950. Oh, I see. Is there is there anything else you can remember about pre-war? Well, it all depends on what you want to know. I want to know everything. <laughs> um, so what was the neighborhood like? Were there a lot of um, Caucasian ca people? Yeah, all Caucasian. All Caucasian? And then mm -hmm. where did the Hispanic people come from? Where did the Mexicans come from? Well, they were called Bracero. They came from Mexico on a contract labor. So they worked for one year, and then when the contract was over, they went back to Mexico again. Oh. Well, a lot of your friends were, were Mexican, right? Oh, yeah. So did they not live around you? Well, there, see, they, there's some Mexicans that were born here. They're just like us. Uh-huh. So did they live near you? Yeah. Oh, so it was a mix of Mexican and yeah, white people? Yeah, yeah. So no, no prejudice. Oh. But during the war years, all the Mexican they had to go to war, too because they're born here. Oh. So the shortage of labor, that's when they got the brush out of Mexico. Oh, so and they came on a one-year contract. Oh. When the contract was over, then they had to go back and recontract. Oh. And that camp was in Irwindale. Irwindale? Mm -hmm. That's where they make that sriracha hot sauce. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, that Irwindale. Wait, so how did you know about this? N know about what? The, the Mexicans being hired. Were, were, were they some of your friends? Yeah, all Mexicans were friends. <laughs> I can't farm without a Mexican. Oh, really? Yeah, they so did in, all the manual labor. In your in your family farm at the time, did you have Mexicans working on the farm? Oh, yeah. When the strawberry time, we had 30 of them. 30 Mexicans yeah. working on the farm? Yeah. How Pick big was the farm? 30 acres. Wow. But it wasn't all strawberries. We had lots of other things, too. Oh. You guys hired 30 Mexicans? Mm -hmm. And do you remember how much it was to hire them? Uh, I think 90 cents an hour. 90 cents an hour? Mm -hmm. per, then, per person? Then it came minimum wage with a dollar an hour. Oh. That's in California. But in Texas or Louisiana and the southern state, uh -huh. it's cheaper than you can do it. There's no law down there. Oh, really? Because mm -mm. there are too many blacks. Wait, so in around 19... Probably like 1920s, 1930s, the minimum wage in California was a dollar? Yeah. Because you would hire Mexicans. Yeah, yeah, about a dollar. Oh, wow. It was 90 cents, so everybody said make it a dollar. Oh. It's easy to figure out. I see. Wow. But then things were cheap too, you know. Mm -hmm. Coke was a dime, potato <laughs> chip, pie, apple pie, which was <laughs> pie. Two, three bucks. What were your favorite snacks when you were a child? I, I'd say Abba Zabba. What's Abba Zabba? That's Abba Zabba. They had Jawbreaker, Babe Ruth. You know what Babe Ruth mm -hmm. is. I know what Babe Ruth is. That time candy they had. Oh. Then they had the Nick Penny one. It was about the size of your thumb. Uh-huh. Then pretty soon they had the nickel one, that was a little bit bigger. Then they had the dime one, that was pretty good size. What? The <laughs> Babe Ruth? Babe Ruth, yeah. Oh. You know who he was at home yeah. then, yeah. Yeah. What, but what's Abba Zabba? Is that a type of candy? Yeah, Abba Zabba. It's kind of a caramel-like. Oh. And they don't have them anymore? Inside is peanut butter. Oh. They don't but, have them anymore? No. No, oh. they don't have that. They don't have Jawbreaker either. Mm. Jawbreaker was the size of a golf ball, a little bit smaller. Uh -huh. Then inside it was a peanut. Inside was a peanut? Yeah. I didn't know that Jawbreakers had a peanut in the inside. Yeah. Oh. So did you have any Japanese snacks when you were growing up? Japanese who? Japanese snacks. Snacks. Oh, yeah. Oh, you did? Sure, lots of snacks. Where, where, did, where would you get Japanese snacks? Well, they had Marukai and... Uh, yeah, those days you had to go to L.A. Yeah. Those days you had to go Sembe. to L.A.? Sembe? Sembe. 
Senbei, okay. is that a? Cracker, Japanese cracker. Oh. Yeah, we used to buy it in the five gallon stainless steel container because we had a lot of kids. Oh, uh huh. Then we used to buy cracker that way too. Oh. Saltine cracker. Mm hmm. Because we had four kids. So, <laughs> right before the war, was your family pretty well off? We were. Your family was really yeah, well off? Yeah, pretty well off. A big we weren't rich, but we were all off. Uh -huh. We never went. Never went hungry. So did, did your family own that farm or did you guys rent the land? At that time, Issei couldn't own land oh. against the law. Oh. You had to be a citizen. Uh -huh. So they put it in the oldest son's name. So was it on, in your brother's name? Yeah, my brother's name. Oh. So your brother owned the land? Yeah, technically. Oh. So when we sold it, he said we'll split five ways or four ways. How much did it sell for? God, I can't tell you now. At that time, we were uh, in the millions. In the millions? Yeah, not per acre, I think. Ours was around three and a half million. Three and a half million dollars? Yeah. Wait, is this after the war or before yeah, the war? 10 years after the war. Oh. But then everything was high too. Oh. So, you know, so Camry was $20,000, you know, Camry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the car. Me, everything's 20000 today. Wait, so before, before the war started, did you guys just leave the land there and then? Before the war, we rented. Yeah, we rented. It was against the law for... East East to own land. Uh -huh. But wasn't it under your the older brother's brother name? name? Yeah. Yeah, so he owned that land yeah, before he the owned war, the, right? Yeah, that's right. And then, and then we, when he left, when you guys left for the war, because the war started, what happened to that land? Well, my brother didn't get drafted because he was the oldest on the farm. They wanted somebody to raise something. So he went to... He, well, they weren't to Heart Mountain Relocation Center. You heard of that? Uh huh. All of them, right? Yeah. Uh huh. And then, able-bodied men, the farmers up there were just begging for sugar beet sugar toppers. Beet? You know what sugar beet is? You know what sugar beet is? What's a sugar bean? It's a beet that's about the size of your shoes. It, it's a beet about that big. Are they purple? Yeah, purple like. Oh yeah, I think okay, yeah, I think. Yeah, I know. then you had to chop the stem uh -huh. and flip it around and chop the top. Oh. That's what called top of the beat. Thank you. Top of the beat. That's uh -huh. the way it was. Today they do that all mechanically. Oh wait, so why did they why did the Japanese Americans ask for the sugar beets? Well nobody else do the labor. Oh. There was shortage of manpower those days. Oh. In the Powell, Wyoming, that was the only restaurant. Mm -hmm. No Japs allowed. Oh, I said that? Yeah, that's what it said. Oh. A theater, swimming pool, all no Japs allowed. That was during the war. Wait, how old were you then? I didn't, I never did go to camp, but I must be 21 mm -hmm. uh, in the 20s. Because you yeah. were drafted, right? Yeah, I was drafted. So did you hear all these stories from your, your parents and from your brothers and sisters? Yeah. yeah. Oh. So it's my brother that volunteered, one of the seven volunteers to top sugar beet. Oh. So when they harvested the crop, those farmers were really happy. Oh. They were ecstatic, said, so you guys saved my crop. So they harvest the crops in Wyoming? Yeah. Oh. In Montana. Oh, there. So whose crops were those, though? Belonged to the Haugajin, Caucasian. Oh, and so they just they just selected a couple of Japanese Americans to go harvest them, or how did that? No, selection? they went into groups of tens. Oh. Yeah, you just, one guy can't go out there. Groups of tens. How did they pick? Who goes? By hand. Them? Well, they had a tractor that listed. You know what listing means? Oh, no, I meant how did they pick, like, who got to go? This isn't cold. Oh, they volunteered. Oh. How come it's not cold? Because I don't put it in the refrigerator. A lot of people drink at body temperature. Thank you. You no, don't I have to. You could I, don't, I can't drink it. I got to have ice cube. 
Thank you. Okay. So they volunteered to go. Mm -hmm. And then they, they got how much did they get? Fifteen dollars a month. Ooh. These guys should be guys. I don't know anything. I was going to school. I oh, can't. that's right. You're going to school. Yeah, they're going with well, fifteen dollars a month. Fifteen dollars a month? A month. That like, comes out to fifty cents a they day. Yeah, at least fifty dollars a month. I don't think they work for fifteen dollars a month. Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Maybe they're fed. I don't know. I no, if you when I you had to have a cook, he got paid.